Hi everybody and welcome to Route 7 Railway. My name's Steve, if you don't know me, and this is your first time looking at the channel. This video is going to be about a list of things that I've learned or things that went wrong with the construction of my first layout downstairs. And I was going to just list them and we're going to have a bit of a discussion about them and, and see where we went with that. But then I got to thinking, uh, it would be more interesting if I broke the list down and then showed you how I went about trying to fix those problems. And that's what I've done. So let's go down to the layout and have a look at what I've been doing during August and the beginning of September on Route 7 Railway to remedy some of the stupid mistakes that I've made in building that layout. One of the problems that is reaching into the far corners of, a, of my poorly designed layout. I wasn't thinking ahead enough. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm planning to do is where you see that there going along there and back down here, I'm going to actually take that line back that way. And I'm going to try and do it by about a foot right across. And then that will allow me to reach in to that corner more. And with that, this twin riser here, I'm going to modify all that because I'm going to simplify the layout. This section of track here has got a diamond crossing and a point there. My plan is, is to take that point out and just have it straight through there and remove this section of track. And that will simplify that and that's just one less place for derailments and things like that. I'm going to remove this and this whole structure. Take all that away because this bend is too tight. I did, it was even tighter than that and I did modify it, but that's too tight. And I'm going to remove that point there, which is another problem area. That's more of a problem than the other area because trains are coming along here and there's like a bend going into a point, which you shouldn't do. And then a bend going out of a point, which is not ideal. So that is going to be a straight through piece. And what I'll do is I'll reuse some of this stuff to continue the wall. Um, that wall will go straight round and join up here. So that's going to be all opened up and taken away. The other thing is as well, is here, if you look, I'll try and show you that view. You can see we've got the bend here, coming. this bend coming round here, going into that point which is going, and then it bends again to the right to go over that bridge. I want to straighten it up from this area here and go in a straighter line up there to, to rejoin the track there. So that, so this snake here, this curving area here will straighten out. It's gonna follow the line of this other track a little bit better. So that's again, that's all connected. So that's all going to come out and be straightened up. That's a big, a big alteration, but it's going to simplify the layout because I've, I've made it a little bit too complicated. I'm quite excited about that and getting into that and making it simple. And it's a, be a messy job, but I'll be able to get back on the right direction again once I've sorted that. So watch this space. Bit messy, but it's all going to come back together again soon. It's a bit scary, actually. A, a better tool to do the job. Oh, 
Wow, how drastic is this? Hi, here we are again, looking at the destruction. I'm gonna tidy all that up now. Okay, where we're up to now. All hoovered up and removed. So there's the point taken out there, the riser all ripped out. And it all ripped out along here. Now that's actually separated from the base and it's going to go along straight like that. Uh, it doesn't show very well, but sorry about the shake in the camera. It's gonna go along straight like that. And I'll glue that down next. Not right now, time for tea. Hi everybody, uh, just been working outside pulling ivy off the walls. What a job that is. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is, I'll just show you spin you around this is where I'm going to move all this this front back edge of the layout it's all going to go back I'm going to try and get a foot out of it so um, it'll allow me to go much closer to the corners and that'll be great so uh, this is coming out all underneath that post I'll have to move that post, take this beam out, drawers, all sorts of things. But it's going to be worth doing. A little bit more room here. F frankly, I need to because I've, I cocked up big time putting, doing those corners too deep. So, cracking on. What I've done, I've removed the support bar under here and the centre leg that goes there, you can just see the leg in the background. I've actually moved that leg backwards to where I need it to be. So it's just looking underneath. So the centre leg is now repositioned just behind the front edge, the new, what will be the new front edge of the board. That's it plumbed in. And what I've done is I've marked this going up here, I've marked it going up there, along there, and back down to there and that is a foot in so I'm going to be have much more access to the to the layout and a bit more room to what to move around in I'll, I'll cut that with a jigsaw I'm going to cut that line with a jigsaw I've drilled a couple of uh, corner holes there's the corner hole there and there and there and uh, just cut that out and that should be okay. All I'll need to do is make sure that these corners here are supported. I'll just put a little block of wood under there, small block on each side. Hi everybody, what a difference a day makes. Uh, yesterday it was boiling hot. Today it's thunder and lightning and rain, but nice to be cooler. You know what I think about us uh, railway modellers in sheds and garages and lofts. I just think we like to be out of the weather and cosy. <laughs> anyway, um, this next part is cutting away this part of the baseboard. I wonder if that's okay. I've actually, I've actually hung it on the top of the cupboard door. That might work. Let's let's hope. Anyway, we'll see. Okay, so, hello, I'm just trying to bend you up a bit. Okay, so that's, that's it cut out and I'm going to have a tidy up. Right, it's all cleaned up. Let's see now if we get the access that I was after. And now I can just reach across and it's much, much easier to get to. And on this side, reach. No problem at all. So I'm really pleased with that. That's the finished article where I've cut away the board. Everything's moved back a good foot. And it's I've just uh, tidied it up with the curtain across there to hide the nonsense underneath. 
but that looks great and it's made a huge difference to the size of the space that I've got available to myself where I can do what I need to do and I'm really pleased with the way that's turned out. Hi. Well, things are going really well there. It got a bit scary at times because I was worrying if I bit, bit off more than I could chew in trying to do these repairs so late in the build on this layout. But I, I, I stuck in there and I was just a bit patient and it seems to be going really well. So please stick around and watch the second part where we look at where I've repaired the riser, the track and the bridge. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps. See you in the next one. Bye.